Hey everybody, it's Casey the Rockstar Flipper. I hope everybody had a great weekend. It is Sunday and uh, tomorrow is the beginning of a new week. Um, back to work for everybody, back to reality in the real world. Unfortunately, we have to make money and pay those bills. Um, so I want to get a video up for you guys tonight and we're going to talk about private labeling. Uh, what is private labeling? How do you do it? And how can you make money off of it? And why is it so... Um, such a positive and strong thing that you really should be doing if you're not doing it um, and if you are doing it how you can expand your private labeling um, to make more money so that's what we're gonna get into tonight and this is gonna be kind of an expert level conversation and video um, for those of you that are just starting out reselling this may not be something that you're interested in now once you get experience selling then you can move up to um, private labeling. Private labeling is, is something that you really got to have a lot of experience either on eBay or Amazon. Um, I'm not saying that beginners can't, you know, do private labeling, but uh, before you have the experience, I would say, you know, if I had tried private labeling back in the day before I really built up a reputation on eBay and Amazon and really knew the ins and outs, it probably would have been a total failure. Um, so with that said, um, let's jump right into it and I'm going to give you some examples. I'm going to show you how it's done and hopefully you guys can take a dive into it. So let's jump on that. All right guys, before I get into this private labeling thing, um, I wanna show you guys a little bit about uh, what we did this weekend. And this is for everybody that thinks that, you know, sometimes you can't do it, or you're having a bad sales week, or slow, or things aren't selling. Just stick with it. We had a really, really bad Friday. I'm not gonna lie, our sales Friday were terrible. Uh, but since Friday, let's count. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. These are all individuals. There's about 20 in there, so that's 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. There's about 44 packages out here. I've got about 25 unshipped, which is, um, like 69 and then I've also got um, more that will sell overnight of course so we'll probably be at about 80 to 90 sales um, Saturday and Sunday which is really really phenomenal um, we had a terrible Friday I don't know if it was just um, server wide or like none of eBay or Amazon people weren't doing good on sales just in general or what it was but it was just really slow Friday so even though you have a bad day, don't get down on it. Just keep going, change some prices, do some best offers, do some sales. Um, if you have a slow day, that's a perfect day to get tons of listing up because it means you have no shipping to do. It means you probably don't have a lot of customer service because you haven't had a lot of sales. Get your listings up and you'll look for the next day and the day after, especially Saturdays and Sundays, to have a really strong sales day. Um, I've been having a lot of people tell me on Fridays that they just had bad Fridays and then it kills them for the weekend. Don't let one day get you down to where you can't you know, make money the next two days because you could do enough on Saturday and Sunday to make up for what you didn't do on Friday. So i just like to show you guys, not to brag about the sales that we did because we had a terrible Friday. We really did. I think we had like eight orders, which is ridiculous. We averaged like 30 to 40 orders a day. So, and there you have it. We've gotten to 80, 90, so in two days. So now we're up to a 45 average for two days, which makes up for Friday almost, not quite, but we did okay. Um, so I'm gonna jump into this, um, this private label selling that I told you guys I was gonna do this video. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a boost because I've seen a lot of people in a lot of the eBay groups on Facebook and a lot of the Amazon groups just down about the weekend and the sales. And I didn't want you guys to be, you know, uh, having the same problem and not, you know, being motivated to keep at it and keep working. Nobody makes a million dollars overnight. Nobody makes a hundred thousand dollars a year overnight. It's, uh, you know, it's a marathon. You got to run it. You got to pace yourself and you got to just keep working and keep plugging at it. Um, so stick with it, guys. And uh, hopefully some of my videos will help you guys get those sales numbers up. Uh, let's jump into the private labeling and uh, we will get going with that. Hopefully that will help you guys as well. Okay, so let's start with what private labeling is. Um, private labeling is basically buying merchandise that does not have a brand or a label attached to it. And typically that is through exporting from other countries. And of course the big country is China. Um, so basically what you'll do is you'll go online and you'll find a supplier or an importer who can ship you merchandise that's just generic. And by generic, I mean iPhone 6 case. 
it's it's got no label it's got no company that doesn't make it you know it's not otterbox it's not you know life proof it's nobody's brand it's just a general generic case that somebody in china has made a mold for they've created it with color and whatever it is and then they send that to you and you put your own label on it you call it casey's ipad case done that's private labeling and typically it's done through importing through china and the biggest website is Alibaba. I know some of you are probably familiar with Alibaba. It's basically the eBay of overseas importing and exporting. Um, it's very, very complicated to use. Uh, it's nowhere near as safe as eBay, but it can be as safe as eBay. If everything you do is with a PayPal transaction, an invoice, and you deal with their gold standard sellers, their approved sellers, then typically you won't have a problem. I've done thousands of transactions over Alibaba, and I have never once had to go after my money, ever, ever. I've heard horror stories, but I tend to think that most of those horror stories were people not being careful when they went on Alibaba. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's what private labeling is in a nutshell. It's a lot more complicated than that. There are a lot of steps and a lot of things involved with, with private labeling and importing products and doing your own branding. But in a nutshell, that's what it is. You bring in a product with no brand, you brand it with your brand, and then you resell it at a profit. And I'm gonna give you an example of that with a product I have here um, next. So I'm gonna show you a product, guys, that I have here. This is um, some iPad cases that I bought, and these probably look familiar to a lot of you. This is an iPad mini case. It fits, I don't know if you guys can see that, a mini four, probably got like some glare, an iPad mini four. So I bought this from a supplier on Alibaba, um, and I bought, I had to buy these in quantity. That's another thing about, importing off Alibaba. It's typically quantities. I'm not saying you have to buy a million pieces of something, but they usually require a minimum order. These, I bought a hundred of these in pink, and I bought a hundred of them in blue. They only required a hundred uh, minimum quantity, but I bought 200. I bought a hundred in pink and a hundred in blue, um, and I believe my cost was $1.55, which is really good, um, but 200 cases cost me about $200 to have shipped here from China. The higher the quantity you buy, the lower the cost of shipping. You'll get a better rate. But 200 of these cost me nearly $200 to get from China. Um, they took about a week to get here, so it actually cost me an extra dollar per case. Um, I'm into these for about $2.45 or $2.55, something like that. Um, but they are listed on eBay. They were originally listed for $15, and on Amazon for $15. Um, I've since dropped them down to like $12.99, and they've sold, I've sold quite a few of these at $12.99. Uh, my net on it was like $9, $10. Bucks. That's a super good margin. I'm making right around $7 to $8 on an item I paid $2 for. Now, why is that crucial? Why is that important? Well, I bought it in quantity. Remember that. If you can buy 100 of an item, 100 pink ones that I paid $250 for, and in one listing, I can put them up, send them into FBA or eBay them, and I can make a $9 net. I've only got to sell around 25 of the 100, only like 25%, and I've got my money back, and the rest are in inventory. And that goes back to growing your inventory. When you can buy something and sell a small part of it and get your money back, and the rest is in inventory, and every time it sells its profit, that's what we're looking to do. Now, the other great thing about that is when you're buying a quantity, you only have to make one listing, one time, one post, and you got a hundred items active that quick. If they don't sell, then, you know, it wasn't a huge investment of money. It wasn't a ton of money. You know, sometimes you can get people to sell you quantity 50, and then you're only out maybe a hundred, hundred and twenty-five dollars. You could always put these on Craigslist or at a yard sale. There's a lot of things you could do with these that if it didn't sell on eBay and Amazon, that you could still sell these and probably get your money back. But this is just an item that I did, and I've done dozens of different items, and I've had decent success with these. It's not a killing, you know, I'm not making thousands of dollars, but it was okay. And I, I tinker and test with products all the time. But this is what private labeling is. And you can see, there's no label. It just says iPad, and it doesn't even say iPad, it just says Mini 4. So when I sell these online, I will label them as 
Rockstar Flipper iPad cases, or Joe Blow's iPad cases, or John Doe's iPad case, whatever you want to name it. You could name it Superior Cases Incorporated, whatever you wanted to name it. And you could even get stickers. Some people get stickers and put on the packaging. Some people package it up in nice packaging. However you want to brand it is how you brand it. And that's how you would list it on eBay or Amazon. Now, Amazon is different than eBay. With eBay, you could just list this, title it, and you're, you're good to go. Um, on Amazon, you have to create a private label, which I'm going to make a video for how to create a private label item on Amazon. Once you have your products, once you have them labeled, packaged, whatever you're going to do, I'll create a video on how you would actually list this on Amazon or send it into FBA. But this is what private labeling is, and this is how people make money. Once they discover an item, let's say that I bought these and they started selling like crazy. I was selling 10 a day, and, and in 10 days I got rid of them at $8 net. I made $800. I only spent, you know, like $250. All of a sudden I realized in 10 days I made like $550 profit. Wow, I'm going to order 1,000 of these this time. Now I've already got the listing. I make the order. They come in. We get them all ready to go. And in one listing, one post, one quantity change, bang, these go right up for sale. And that's why people love private label bulk purchasing and bulk sales. It's very, very easy. It's very, very, you know, fast to get a lot of items up. But you have to be willing to take the risk to spend the money to try different items until you find the ones that sell very, very quickly. And that's the nuts and bolts of private label selling on eBay and Amazon. So while I was looking at this video and, and telling you guys about how you private label, I realized that I need to make two videos. One needs to be um, how to source Alibaba, how to buy safely on Alibaba, and how to, you know, how to find these products that you're looking for and be able to purchase them and get them coming in. And then the second video I need to do is how to create a private label um, product on Amazon because that's not the easiest thing. Once you do it, it's very, very easy, but if you don't know what you're doing, um, it can be kind of intimidating. So I think the most important thing that I need to do is show you guys how to safely purchase um, private label um, products off of Alibaba, um, which is the one that I'm familiar with and the one that most people use and the safest. Um, that way you guys can start searching it and finding products, sourcing it, and taking your first dive into spending a couple hundred bucks to bring in products. Um, so tomorrow is Monday, and I'm going to go ahead and make both of those videos tomorrow. I'm going to make the the sourcing on Alibaba and the creating an FBA private label um, product for you guys tomorrow. So save this video, uh, favorite this video, and then tomorrow I will make those two. I will post them and I will put the links to all three videos in the description boxes of each video. So this video will have the description to the other two and the other two will have the description to the latter two and so on and so forth. So I want to get those up tonight and tomorrow so you guys can work on that this week and look at sourcing products. Now, I'm not saying you got to sell, you know, phone cases or iPad cases or anything like that. Um, I have seen people sell like generic um, floaties, like swimmies that the kids wear. Um, I have seen them source things like generic um, poker chips that they customize the poker chips with their brand or with the customer's brand. Uh, I have seen people do sourcing on board shorts like swim trunks. I've seen it on clothing, I've seen it on cases, uh, I've seen it on headphones, electronics, you name it, I've seen it. So there's a million things you can source and you can just let your, your imagination go crazy uh, and I will show you guys in those videos how to turn that imagination and those ideas into products on Alibaba and how to buy them safely so you don't get taken uh, for your money. Because the worst thing to do is to, to have a great idea, want to buy something off Alibaba, and then you end up finding a bad seller and you lose your money. It'll probably, you know, it's bad enough to lose your money, but you'll probably never want to shop on there and never want to export or import again. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that safely. So that'll be tomorrow night's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's video about what private label is and how you can turn it into a lot of money. Um, creating a brand and selling your branded items. So um, we'll talk more tomorrow night and uh, I'll get this up for you guys now and then look for the other videos tomorrow. I will get them up as early as possible. 
Thanks so much, everybody. Hope you had a great weekend. As always, subscribe to this channel. Uh, my description box has my email and my social media in it. If you guys want to follow me on either of those or email me directly. And uh, I will look forward to you guys uh, commenting any questions you have and uh, comments and questions on the videos tomorrow night. See you tomorrow, guys.